Now is the easiest time to be successful because not everybody got this mindset. Me personally, bro, nine times out of 10, I don't even have motivation, but I do got discipline. And that's what I'm about to break down to y'all, how you can motivate yourself, but it's not gonna always work, bro. Sometimes you just need discipline. You need to build the discipline. All right, number one way of how to stay motivated is thinking about all the hard times that you got through. If you're here right now and you're watching this video, that means God took you through all the hard times that you face. You beat it. God literally took you through all the hard times. You are undefeated with all these hard times if you are here watching this video today. Yes, you. I'm speaking to you. You know, times get hard. Times get hard, sometimes you don't feel like doing stuff. But think about this, I'm here today. I had hard times before. And if I'm here today, that means I got over those hard times that I had before. That being said, I'm gonna get through this hard time. This is just a little hill that I gotta climb. That's how you have unlimited motivation, bro. Relate everything to your life. Think about your life, think about your past. You can't just let things come up to you and a problem happens and you just let it happen. No, you're a man, bro. You got to make things happen. That's what women love too. Women like men that make things happen. You got to be a man to get things done. You don't feel like doing something, just still get it done. You trying to retire your mom, but you don't know how, but you're going to make it happen, right? So you're going to get things done. That's motivation, bro. Oh. Make things happen, bro. You're a man. Make some shake. Number two, man, use trauma as motivation. This is what I use. It's not really trauma, cause I, don't, I ain't gonna lie, I haven't been through trauma. Trauma, people don't know what trauma is nowadays. But I haven't been through trauma. Yeah, I've been through like heartbreaking moments, but not no trauma. But, let's speak for you, maybe you have been through some trauma. Use that as motivation. Maybe you was poor, use that as a time to never go back. When you, when you grind and remember how it felt when you was poor and y'all had nothing. Remember how you felt when your stomach was touching your back. Remember how you felt when you had to take a shower in cold water because you couldn't afford hot water. Remember how it felt when you had to light candles because you didn't have no electricity. Or you had the stove on because you had no heat. Remember what that felt like. And don't go back. Motivation, bro. I'm here now. I don't want to go back to where I was before. So I'm going to keep on putting in this work. Matter of fact, I'm going to double down on this. That's what you need to work on, bro. That's unlimited motivation right there. Those two facts. Now we're done with the motivation. We're talking about discipline now. Discipline. Bro, I posted 600 something videos on YouTube. I don't even have a thousand subscribers yet. I had every reason to stop YouTube by now. Did I? No. Because you gotta think in the long term, not short term. I'm thinking in the long term. I'm not thinking about right now. Other than that, if I was thinking about right now, I would have quit already. Not one video I ever had got 2,000 views or more. Not one video got 5,000, 10,000, nothing. I could have been quit. My videos ain't blowing up yet. Now I believe it is. But it's the discipline. Knowing that not everything just gonna come your way. You gotta work for that. You gotta grind for that. You gotta post every day. Discipline. I don't feel like doing it. I still do it. Discipline. That's what you gotta do. When you don't see results, you still working at it. Y'all, y'all gotta think, bro. Now is the easiest time to be successful because not everybody got this mindset. Now is the easiest time to be successful because everybody is weak-minded. Everybody is weak. Everybody wants something now. Like, if you go on Instagram, if you go on YouTube, if you go on TikTok and look up how to get abs, the first thing that's gonna pop up is how to get abs fast or how to get subscribers fast. Why you gotta be fast? Because everybody wants it now or never. They want it by tomorrow or they don't want it at all. They gonna give it a day and if they don't see nothing happen, they gonna quit. That's how weak a lot of these people are. They think they gotta have everything now, tomorrow for them to be successful, for them to keep on going. But me and you, but we built different. We understand that this genre not gonna just come to us. This genre not just gonna be handed to us. This genre not gonna come up tomorrow. We not gonna post one video and then instantly be, have a million subscribers and have collabs with Kai Sinat. No, we know that already. We know we gotta work for this genre. We know this could take years. We know this could take months. We know this could take, maybe it could be quick, but that's not what we're expecting. We expecting to buckle up and grind. And that's where discipline comes in. 
You got to do it when you're not even seeing results. You got to do it every day. Discipline is when you're doing something that you hate or doing something that you don't want to do, but doing it like you love it. Bro, who says I love YouTube? I'm just using this as an example. I'm not lying. I love YouTube. I love doing YouTube. There's a reason why I want to do this full time. But there's a lot of creators that don't love YouTube. But they just got the discipline. They do it like they love it. And you couldn't even tell. Maybe it's your favorite YouTuber. Don't even like doing YouTube no more. But they do it because they know the money. They know it could change their lives. They just hide it because it's discipline, bro. They're doing it because the benefits of it. And they're doing it like they love it. Whole time you think this is their dream job. This is not even their dream job. A lot of people on YouTube don't even want to do YouTube. But they know the benefits. And they still grind it and doing it. Had the discipline. Me some shake. Me personally, I love YouTube. That's why I still post 620 something videos with not even having a single penny from YouTube. But that's all I got to say for y'all. Discipline outweighs motivation. But like I said in the beginning of the video, I taught y'all how to have unlimited motivation. So I hope y'all got some out of this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, man. And I love y'all. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video.